Hi, my name's Ed Sharp, and together with Ben Tyres, we built the Cluster Act Viral Advertising Contraption. In this footage, we'll show you what went on behind the scenes. Here, we're looking at the warehouse that we converted to a mock print shop, and it took four of us two days to repaint the floor and set up a plasterboard wall. After that, it took the two of us a further 180 hours to get in place all of the printers, the printing equipment, and build the contraption around it. This is one of the early test runs. In building a contraption, you want to have the most reliable mechanisms at the end and the least reliable ones at the start, just in case they fail and lead to everything being reset. That's exactly what happened here, and in fact that stage with the ball rolling and the sellotape and the print stick firing gave us a lot of grief. This area, which was technically the most complicated, was in fact pretty reliable, repeatable, and only suffered from a few random errors. In addition, when you've got a large mass that needs to be triggered by a very small force, you have to have a very sensitive trigger. And as we were sharing a site with a haulage company, every now and then a big truck would thunder past and trigger one or other of our mechanisms, leading to a bit of a unnecessary aggravation. For extra impact, we wanted to film the entire contraption from start to finish in one take. And it took us 98 takes to get that one shot. We were very lucky. Had the clear-up van not been caught on the motorway, we wouldn't have got that final shot. And as it turned out, we only had 10 minutes to spare. Unfortunately, not all the mechanisms were obvious how they work. So this is a, an end-on shot of the uh, firing mechanism for the carriage and a side-on shot of the shelves coming down. The tension in the nylon thread holding that uh, wheelie chair back was enormous and the, the chair itself had to be anchored to the ground by three carriage bolts. This whole mechanism was rather precarious and we did actually have one of the nylon threads snap on one occasion but thankfully the roll just uh, landed on the cluster rack bang on. This is what it looks like after the 98th take and uh, the cleanup operation takes about half an hour, 45 minutes to get it back to its ready state. Thankfully the ink only fired on uh, 9 or 10 occasions so we didn't have too many major clear ups on our hands. You have to be quite disciplined during the filming and say that if anything does go wrong rather than just try it again and hope you have to actually make a modification. I hope you enjoyed seeing the contraption from our perspective and if you want to download the whole video you can do so at clusterrack.com. Bye for now.